guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 6 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Here. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So happy our group's finally together. No. Yeah, you you have to be a student to join. Okay. Mm, we got Nico Yas. <laughs> Nico Nico Ni nee up in this. <laughs> oh, of course I'll have the best girl, you know, do that ish. Mm. You take freaking <laughs> best tally of my best girl. All these best girls in this show, I can't. Uh huh. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I love. I don't know why, and this is probably because of last week, I just love Asuka's attitude. I mean, seriously, like, if, honestly, if any of you have seen Jujutsu Kaisen and, um, What's-Her-Face's, uh, Asuka's, uh, VA in that show, this is literally her, except her, like, attitudeness is turned up to a thousand. Like, her attitude is no bar, and Jujutsu Kaisen is good, and, like, that's why one of the reasons why she's, like, my best girl. I'm like, bitch, you me in a nutshell. Like, you say the things that I don't, I really want to say to someone when I really want to tell someone off, and I can't. So, you know, you have to do it the nice way. Like, <laughs> you want to do that. But, no, she just... It's just like, no, you really know, you really want to honestly know my opinion? Let me tell you. Sit on down. <laughs> Between this whole cast and trying not to get, like, I pray to God I don't get spoiled on the last gear. Thank God I haven't because I've literally been nice and smart to, um mute like any words for pretty here and then i might have to block people again like i'm currently doing for jujitsu kaisen but you know hey it's worth it i might have to block the one girl who keeps unfollowing me every single time but it's okay She's such a mood. Oh my god. Like mm. <laughs> Yeah, too tired. <laughs> See, that's a mood. That is me. That is all of us during this quarantine. How are we still in quarantine even though everything's kind of going back to normal? But, I mean, something else besides that. <laughs> yeah, bread would get soggy in the seas. That's a big no-no. Yeah. Manasu, that's a little too much, but you know, that's just your kibiki ways, and you know what, that's okay, that's why I love you so much. Wait! <laughs> mm, 
Back to the drawing board. Why don't you girls just become like a help out club or something? Mm -hmm. Honestly, it is. And then what about your own birthdays? We pray that one of these girls has an October birthday. If you have an October birthday, you automatically best girl in my book. Yeah, explain it a little bit more for them. Something tells me Songo is going to be about makeup. Reading. Oh, <laughs> oh I wonder who that is. <laughs> It's, it was so simple, Armikasa. Come on now. Mana? <sighs> Laura <laughs> our silica I know right <laughs> See grape juice. You read about that? Um, Asuka? Asuka? and I love it. Can you imagine if she goes out shopping and how cute she looks with all the clothes and everything? Oh, she's so 
adorable. <laughs> Sango. Our Kirby. It's just, just teaching, you know, everyone. Curly girl. Or, you know, a very feminine boy. And I love it. But it was perfect, though. She kind of reminds me of Iwan. What's up? Oh, so then still must be in that junkyard. Honestly, they almost look like you guys in the future. Pendrum. So sweet. <laughs> oh, man, <that's> so <laughs> yeah, they're literally them, but just without the, you know, oh, hey, main colored hair, we're the pro protagonists of this series.
Also, can I say I really like their outfits? Jesus Christ, this show, oh my god. I think, really, out of, like, the last few seasons that I've reacted to from 2016 up until now, I think these outfits that the adults are wearing literally are the best. And maybe, I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if every anime, like, literally pays attention to, like, a fashion scene. But maybe Toei Animation does when it comes to pretty hair. Because honestly, like, the outfits are really on point And it just makes you, it's right there. <laughs> it makes you really want to change your, your personal style as well. Uh, huh? <sighs> oh, not the penguin. That was cute. I'm sorry. Like, oh my god, like, let's go! Too easy. <laughs> well, damn, Laura, everything can't always be uber duper exciting every single week. If we don't get something like this for the end of this series, I'm sewing. That makes sense.
I mean, and you know you're going to approve it, so just say yeah. Zion's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, well, dang. I thought we would have saw the 3D Laura. So something tells me that in the official release in Japan, they get to see the 3D Laura while I have to see, you know, Summer this week again. It would have been nice. Heck, let's even talk about the fact that, you know, for the last few episodes with the endings, you know, we got to see the healing girls. The healing good girls, but no, no, this show is like, no, we're just going to show the new girls like mm, healing good. Pretty cure is over. We're focusing on the new, the new, new, not the old. Honestly, this episode was really good. But yeah, the four girls with their connection towards the penguin and the locket that they had with the picture of them as teenagers and such when they went to school. That was cute. Like I said, if we don't get something like that, almost not really similar, but almost like very like the same, but I mean, because I would like to see it. I, I would love to see these four girls, maybe even five, whoever the fifth and final cure is. Do not tell me, please. Um, if we get a picture of them and then it's so many years later and we see them all come back together and they look at that picture of them again, again, when they were younger, that would be the best ending in my opinion because I'm still a little bitter about Healing Good's ending because with every single series of Pretty Cure we've always eventually gotten to see the girls when they're older and the meeting up one last time before the show's over and since Healing Good is officially the first show in the series where we didn't essentially get that ending it felt very weird leading up into the first week of this show. Look at this! A cannon? Wait, wait, wait. Girls, so we're, we're using our cute little kudadun, our, our little seal, as a cannon? You know what, I, you know, Pretty Cure has done some crazy-ish, but I think this is officially now the craziest. Like, hold up now. That's a little, that's a little different, but I'm okay with that. But yeah, honestly seeing the four older characters into their adulthood I wish we kind of got like a little more into their backstory and everything but I get it it's okay I mean it's a 24 minute episode you can't have everything this is why sometimes I wish we could have longer pretty cure episodes <laughs> and such. but yeah I think if they did longer episodes I think it would be a shorter episode count possibly and such who knows what really I mean because like what I think my biggest other thing because now since we've gotten the mermaid um <laughs> theme out of the way I think my next like dream for pretty cure is I want to see like an adult pretty cure I mean not like an adult adult like someone who's almost like my age or something almost like college students I think that would be really good but I don't think little kids would be able to um kind of like get lessons from college students in a way I mean like th this is the same thing with almost any other anime I mean one of my favorite college animes that I've seen that I, I have not watched um 
in a while, aka Grand Blue, which is really, really funny. If you have never seen Grand Blue, I highly suggest it. It's very, it, it, it's a, it's a edgy series, but it, it's more like the edgy's kind of toned down, but it's really a lot of comedy and such, and it's literally one of my best favorite shows that I ever reacted to in my list of my current favorite reactions from 2016 up until now. Um, but the lessons that I learned in that show, take it to heart, and it's really, really good, like, honestly, just go watch it. Like, don't just take my word for it, a lot of people loved it when the show came out, I literally suggest watching the crap out of that show but yeah i mean this was a really sweet adorable episode yes the fight went on very quickly because we didn't have um essentially a villain of the week come in and taking someone's motivation and such so i'm okay if they do that again i think it was a very interesting and like quick episode to get like okay here's point a here's point b here's point c we're done let's move on to the next thing i would like to see these four characters again i think they're very interesting and they could do another story on it and such but honestly really we don't really know but yeah i i cannot wait to see cut it in i seal i do still also want an episode on asuka and um the student council president because the student council president is very bitchy and i don't like her i didn't like her ever since next last week and i want to know why there has to be something between these two so as i said like last week i think they were both on a team together maybe asuka senpai did something or maybe the student council president girl did something one of the two did something that someone is maybe angry or bitter about till this day and so they always give each other these like bitchy sort of like I still respect you type looks but there's still a lot of um so many things that need to be explained there and I'm guessing when we get the next big episode that focuses on um Asuka Senpai's story then maybe that's when we'll get it but until then like that's really up to air and same thing with whoever the heck the last cure is because my thing is like in my opinion I would love for it to be Laura I think it would make the most sense to make Laura be the final pretty cure of it because of course I mean if you, if any of you have seen Mermaid Melody I mean those girls you know end up becoming like badass singers <laughs> and such and I really would like to see um specifically Lords VA Silica do something else in a fighting it, mm, yeah because she in SAO she fights because in my opinion is in SAO like in the first half of the show yes yeah, she fights and in the second half it's like <laughs> so I really hope that Laura gets to be something else something more almost like how um my best girl <laughs> CL Miss Kier Far or Parfait <laughs> my Chino <laughs> Um, how kind of like the first few episodes before she finally became a cure, I was like a little hesitant on her and I was like, hmm, like, what are you here for? I was like, I know you're the final cure, ma'am, mm -hmm. but I want you to be something more than this cook and then a fairy and stuff. And so finally, when essentially she became a cure, it was like, okay, she finally got something else besides this. I know Laura wants this all to become queen. I get that boo. Cause I mean, a I love your reason. <laughs> it's why, like, still, I love you so much. Like, she, Laura is just so relatable and, like, her sparks and everything. And I'm like, damn. I feel like out of, by the time we get to the end of this series, I'm gonna have, like, so many pictures of this chick on my phone to use as, like, memeable stuff or just be like, this is my mood like this or this was my mood like that. Because her facial expressions fucking love it it's so freaking good and i'm like yes she she just does one facial expression and be like yes mm -hmm, mood i love you so much but yes i i just really hope that laura becomes something a little bit better later on because right now all she cares about is being clean it's very similar to um kind of chocolate from sugar sugar Rune, if any of you have seen that maybe a little more like it, mm, Laura's a little bit of chocolate vanilla from Sugar Sugar Rune. I mean, she's like, oh, I want to be queen. That's all I freaking care about and stuff. Um, and then, of course, Laura's attitude, which <laughs> that is me in a nutshell. But, yeah, I mean, I just hope that she really gets good on her development later on in the rest of the series. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view to episode six of Healing. I'm about to say Healing. Oh, God. Tropical Rouge Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially next Saturday, Sunday for episode seven. Bye, guys.